Hey, it's Joanne here, and I am sharing ways to be happier and healthier. That's the mission that I'm on. And so thank you for joining me on this journey. So what I have found um, as I continue to grow and expand is, you know, I come up against um, challenges. I come up against limiting beliefs. And so one of the cycles that I have found myself in is this the cycle of overeating and then gaining weight and then getting things leveled out again and then overeating, gaining weight. So I'm going through this cycle and I do not like to admit that I have this cycle happening because um, it makes me feel like less than makes me feel um, like it makes me feel frustrated with myself because I know how to eat healthy. I know how to work out. I have all the tools I need, but there's this thing happening inside of me that causes me to overeat. Um, and so working through that is something that I need to do because the cycle is going to continue and continue and continue until I've actually healed it. Now, prior to having children, I was able to maintain my weight around the same level. I would um, never say that I was like super skinny or super fit, but I was definitely fit. I was healthy. Then when I had children, I continued, you know, eating well, I continued, you know, being like healthy, practicing healthy ways of living. But when my kids were like three and one or four and two, I just became so overwhelmed with the um, demand of motherhood that it was just like funneling like food in and, and mostly it would be like chocolate ice cream, that kind of thing. Um, occasionally I might eat, like overeat on like chips and stuff like that. But, um, you know, because I am such a healthy person, healthy uh, living, I don't have that many, I would say junk food uh, cravings or even junk food that I would even purchase. But ice cream and chocolate, those are two things that I would purchase and still have purchased recently ice cream and chocolate. So this cycle of gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight is, is just so overplayed in my life. And for the last, you know, at least seven years um, that it's, it's kind of embarrassing, but I am ready to release it. I'm ready to... Um, release this pattern. So I want to do this tapping session together today. So if you have not tapped before, you can just follow along. I like to close my eyes so that um, I can just stay connected to the wisdom within. So I want to say, even though <sighs> I overeat, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I overeat, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I overeat, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Let's go to the top of the head. So when I overeat, I am really just enjoying the food. Um, when I overeat, I, I don't want to stop eating because whatever it is tastes good. Whenever I overeat, I, I feel so uncomfortable afterwards. Uh, whenever I overeat, I am disappointed in myself. Whenever I overeat, I feel like out of control. Whenever I overeat, uh, sometimes I do it consciously and sometimes I do it unconsciously. 
whenever I overeat, I feel a bit disgusted with myself. Whenever I overeat, I feel like I should know better. Whenever I overeat, I beat myself up about it. Whenever I overeat, I try to brush it off like it doesn't really matter. Whenever I overeat, I condemn myself for making bad choices. Whenever I overeat, there's a lot of things going on inside my head that are not supportive. Just continue to tap on the tapping points. Whenever I overeat, I think, when will I stop doing this? Whenever I overeat, I just wish there was a miracle fix. A fix to the urges or the fix to the the void that I'm trying to fill. Whenever I overeat, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing to my body. And it's out of alignment with what I want for my body. I intend to live a long, healthy life. And so, being overweight um, could shorten my life expectancy. So when I overeat, I'm really taking away time that I could be spending with my family in the future. Whenever I overeat, I'm causing my body to do more work than necessary. Whenever I overeat, I'm making it so that my body has to store more fat. Whenever I overeat, I'm just adding more for myself to carry. <sighs> I'm ready to release this pattern of overeating ready to listen to my hunger and society clues. I am ready to be in tune with my body. My body already knows exactly what it needs to be the perfect weight. I just need to follow my body's guidance. I am ready to follow my body's guidance. I am ready to follow my body's guidance. My body knows what to eat. My body knows how much to eat. My body knows when to eat. And I'm ready to listen to my body I am ready to listen to my body. I am ready to release overeating. I am ready to release overeating. I am ready to release overeating. I have released the pattern of overeating. I have released the pattern of overeating. All right. Let's bring our hands to our heart center. And just know that you are no less a person because of a number on the scale or a bulge. I was going to say a bulge in your pants. <laughs> That's something.
people would like a bulge in their pants. <laughs> How about a uh, muffin top <laughs> over your pants, right? So, uh, you are whole and complete as you are. I am whole and complete as I am. I am in tune with my body. I know when to eat. I know what to eat. I know how much to eat. That's that's the affirmation. That's the mantra that I'm taking forward from this and I want you to take forward from this. You already know. Your body already knows. And if you don't know what to eat, look around you to what nature has provided. That's what you eat. Okay? It doesn't have to be as complicated as the nutrition world has gotten. And it's okay that that world has gotten complicated. You know, we're not simple beings. We're not, we're complicated. So, so there are special needs that we have, that our body has, but your body knows exactly what it needs and you can hear that. And I want to share with you this. I, I didn't know that I was going to share this, but one of the ways that I do check in with myself to see if my body really needs something is muscle testing. And if you haven't practiced muscle testing, I would um, encourage you to um, look up applied kinesiology, applied kinesiology. And I might actually even do a video on it um, now that I'm talking about it. But um, your your body knows your body knows and you can listen to your body. You can intuitively know or you can muscle test um, for real. Um, so there's this oil right here in front of me. It's called present time. I love this. I can smell it on the sides here without even opening this. I love it. So I'm a big fan of essential oils. Um, so I, I can... I can test this to see if this is actually supportive of my body by muscle testing. So I can, I can say, you know, is present time supportive of my body? Yes. Should I have um, one drop? Should I have two drops? Should I have three drops? Okay. So two drops. All right. So two drops, boop, I'm good. And I do this with supplements. I do this with food. I have done this with cannabis. Um, so I, I, sometimes have enjoyed, you know, cannabis. And every time I muscle test for it, it's a no, it's a no, it's a no. <laughs> I'm like, dang it. I don't want to drink alcohol. I'd rather, I'd rather smoke weed than um, drink alcohol. But anyway, um, I don't even know how we get into this um, weed smoking, but let's, let's end there before I reveal too much. <laughs> All right. So uh, there you have it. Let's move forward knowing that our body knows exactly what it needs to eat, when it needs to eat, what it needs to eat, how much it needs to eat, all of that, okay? Just trust your body. Trust your body. I'm going to trust my body to guide me. And let's just watch this, this weight fall off. This fat fall off. I don't need weight to fall off. I want fat to fall off. And, um, and, and just let it go. Let it go. Let it be gone. Let it not cycle back because of a pattern that's been unhealed. Let's let this pattern be healed of overeating so that we can, you know, be in the bodies um, that we're meant to be in, that we're meant to thrive in, and we're meant to do all these fun things as uh, spiritual beings living in a human body. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be sharing a lot more with you about um, the techniques that I use to be the happiest and healthiest version of myself. And guess what? I'm on that journey. Am I the happiest and healthiest in this moment that I've ever been? I would say yes. Is there more room for me to expand that happiness and that healthiness? Yes. So here we are on this journey together. So thank you for watching and thanks for subscribing.